What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe, smash that bell, all of that good stuff. I am getting ready to do my very first travel vlog. I always wait. Like, I'm a super last minute person when it comes to like packing and getting everything ready to go. I don't know why I always do this to myself because I still gotta do like laundry, I gotta pack. I gotta do, I got a lot of running around to do tomorrow. Like I got so much stuff to do. <laughs> and for some reason, I always just wait to the very last day. Uh, my house is clean pretty much. Uh, I got just some little stuff in the kitchen. My upstairs office, I gotta straighten up a little bit. I can't go nowhere without me. I gotta make sure that the crib is clean before I leave. Oh, you lead me to This suitcase is gonna be big enough. Suitcase. Um, my shoes take up like this whole suitcase. I'm gonna try to make this work though, so I don't have to go spend no money and go buy another suitcase. I pretty much did a lot of straightening up. I did. I already did my cleaning for the you know on Sunday. So my and then my, I haven't really been home, so my house hasn't really been that dirty. I think I'm good to go now. Um, I feel good kitchen clean bathrooms cleaned i'm about to i'm about to relax and start really trying to plan out plan out what i want to do for sure while i'm in miami i feel like so i don't forget because i got a lot of stuff that i need to to take care of i feel like i need to just like write it down in my notes so i can have a checklist but i'm tired i'm about to go to sleep and i will see y'all tomorrow finally done at the gym today was like one of them lazy workouts but i still went so that counts right i didn't really give it my all today i'm not gonna lie i'm just mentally i'm already in miami like and it's just cold the weather it says that it's supposed to be 61 degrees today it's 34 degrees right now look it says It says it's 34 degrees right now. It says it's supposed to be 61. There's no way it's about to be 61 with it looking like this outside. It's so gloomy. They lying. They lying on that weather app, giving us Michigan people hope. We woke up with hope today. They lied. But I'm waiting for my uh, one of my drivers to pull up. 
We're gonna hop in the, in the buses, take them over there to get washed. <laughs> This drive is a little bit further than I expected. I gotta start getting my buses washed a little bit more. I'm gonna try to figure out a schedule. All right, y'all, so my samples finally came in. Got a little note. All right, I'm hyped now. The candles is here. I've been waiting for I've been waiting for so long for these candles, man. Uh, the samples, I don't know what they look like yet. I'm hoping that they're to my liking because if they are, then I could place the order for production and finally get this thing rolling. I'm really hoping that in this box, these candles look how they're supposed to look. Um, so I can start taking pictures, building the website and just getting everything prepared and ready to roll out so I can get these candles ready for y'all to experience so y'all houses can be smelling like my house. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, do me a favor, I'm about to open them up. I gotta make sure I like them first. If I like them and they on point, I'll give y'all a little sneak preview of what they look like. But we got let's get this video to like Let's get this video to a thousand likes and I'll show y'all a little sneak peek of the candles. Deal? All right, so let me see. All right, so I just left the mall. See that Zara bag back there? Zara's definitely one of my favorite stores, um, especially here in Michigan. I'm about to go get my hair cut, get this beard trimmed up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I got a meeting at seven o'clock, a Zoom call meeting. Um, and then I'm going home to pack finally, right? You know, somebody now nah, I usually don't respond to like negativity because it's just that's just not the type of person I am. Every so, every so once in a while, you get some negative comments, um, on your platforms. It's always you can't please everybody, it's cool, it's cool. Everybody got their own opinion, everybody, whatever. My my pages, my platforms are like 95% positivity, and then there's that 5% of just negative people. Um, so I was, somebody had reposted one of my videos. It was me cooking, and it, like, you know, most of my videos, I usually have my hat on. So, you know, my cooking video, I, I don't know, me, I've always been like super, and this is me being transparent. This is me being really transparent with everybody. Um, like, an insecurity that I had for a very long time was just my hair for years. And um, I now I'm starting to just accept it. But I couldn't accept the baldy. Like, I just, <laughs> like, I cut my hair off because it was it was thinning. Like, my hair was, was messed up. I mean, I had, I had uh, you know, a lot of men go through it, unfortunately. And I was one of those people that went through it and um man i was insecure about my uh my head for a long time and uh i recently got this smp well not recently i've had it for probably about like probably about three years now two three years and it's a hairline like it's smp it's like a tattoo on your head like, somebody had commented on the video of the the person that reposted the video and was like he's single because he got the spray on hair hair uh he got spray on hair damn why she cooked me like that y'all it was funny i'm bald but like i just like having the contrast of of the hair like if i wanted to grow my hair back out i could um you know and my smp would kind of like make up for the areas that um that i was thinning but it's too much maintenance uh and i actually 
like I got a beard, so I feel like I could wear the low. I'm actually going to schedule an appointment to go get it like touched up and make it a little bit darker because some lighting, if you guys notice in some of my videos, some lighting you just you can't see it and it just looks like I'm completely just bald. That was just a little quick story, real quick. Um, she cooked me in the comments. I thought I'd share that with y'all. It's not spray. It's a permanent thing. Um, but yeah, she definitely tried. She tried to come at me in them comments. And I, I don't appreciate that. You can't please everybody. Some people going to talk about you. Let them, let them talk. We back Beard on fleek <laughs> Alright, so now So yeah, I'm about to go to Target I got this meeting in like 30 minutes Alright y'all, I made it back just in time My meeting is literally in 3 minutes <laughs> It's, hold on What a day Alright, hurry up, do this meeting real quick Then I gotta go to Target oh, I don't know why you love me Fun fact about this Target. I used to work at this Target when I was like 19. Um, I used to work night shifts at this Target, stocking. And then in the morning, I worked over across, like down the street at a, at a McDonald's. And I hated it. I hated McDonald's. McDonald's was the worst. Like I literally probably worked that job for like maybe two weeks and then quit. This Target, I probably worked here for a few months. Um, I used to have to be here at 10 o'clock at night, and I got off at 7 in the morning, and I would just be restocking stuff all night, and it was the worst. I thank God that I am a entrepreneur, and I just always just had that drive and always pushed myself because I am the worst employee ever. Like, literally every job I've had, I've got fired, for real. But I remember one time, I just was just like fed up with this job and I'm like, man, I don't even want to be here. But like at the time they had like a super strict, if you call off or if you, if you're tardy, like they're, they'll fire you. And I, I really needed a job at that time. And I'm just like, man, what can I do to get off work? Cause I don't want to be here. So during my lunch break, I literally, I came outside, got in my car and like my hand, my hands are big already. So like, I don't know. I feel like my thumbs look like already kind of like just weird. Like my hands always look like this. But I literally came outside and started like bashing my hand on my steering wheel just like this. Like I did it like a hundred times until my hand just got red and like it just looked red and just I don't know. I don't think it got to purple, but literally I hit my hand on the steering wheel a hundred times and as soon as it got red. Like, I went back inside, and I told my manager, like, yo, I dislocated my thumb. I think I got to go to the doctor. And, yeah, I got off work. I got off work. Uh, I, I had to, not going to lie, though, I had to go to, like, the hospital. Uh, I think I went to an urgent care case, but I got my doctor's note that I needed. Um, 
Yeah, so that's my story. So if you need to get off work, if you need to get off work and you got a dysfunctional looking thumb, hit it on the steering wheel a couple times. And I'm just playing, man. Don't call off work. Don't call off work. I don't want y'all getting in trouble or nothing uh, because of me. I haven't been to this Target in a long time. And uh, I just thought it would be cool to share that little story with y'all. see how people travel without like having a hoodie on people was wearing shorts i know we going somewhere warm but it'd be like they be having them planes freezing i got a whole thick hoodie on with some sweats and i was like shaking <laughs> checked into my room the room that i'm standing in today this is just like a just a room for right now for today literally because i ended up changing my flight i was originally supposed to be coming here on uh tomorrow which is friday but instead i had to come today in the room in the room that i originally booked for the whole weekend is booked up so i just booked another room um, I'm gonna show y'all. It's not much, nothing. It's nothing special, you know. Just a place to lay my head for the night. The room that I'm staying at tomorrow, though, is supposed to be really nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see see how this night goes. I'm actually. I'm not as, as tired as I thought that I would be. Um, thought I was gonna be a lot more tired. I'm actually like that sleep on the plane. I slept on the plane a little bit, but I had the aisle seat. See, I'm let's 
look, what do y'all like? Do y'all like the aisle seats or do y'all like the window seats? I'm tall, so you would think that I would like the aisle, but the aisle seat is the word that like that's damn near the same as the middle seat. Like there's nowhere to like lean. Like it's just I got bumped by the cart while they were coming down the aisle, passing out drinks and stuff. Aisle seat, the worst seat. I'll take the window seat. The window seat is always the best. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> I'm about to get ready and uh, I'm going go, to go downstairs to this gym real quick. And then I got to pack everything up so I can go swap cars because I'm swapping to a different car today. And then I'm uh, going to go check into a hotel to my hotel for the weekend. annoying thing I get dressed I put these joggers on I love these joggers first time wearing them put them on and I realize that they don't got no pockets bro like who makes joggers and don't have pockets that's so I got phones keys my wallet what am I gonna do the whole day with no pockets no pockets no back pockets no front pockets no nothing just that's annoying. I'm about to get ready and go probably drop this bag off to the new hotel. Today is really like the first day of work day. Um, yesterday I was really just chilling the whole day. I really didn't do much. I knew that I, I was gonna, I almost forgot this. Almost forgot it. But yeah, um, today I got a lot of little content to film. I'm filming my Sunday content. Today is really just for Instagram content. And then I have to uh, do some content for the artist also. I think we're gonna be shooting some scenes from his music video today. And yeah, so I'm about to get ready and take all this luggage and stuff over to the new hotel. And then from there, I'm gonna get the Lambo. I've been waiting for this. The Audi, the R8 is what I'm driving now. It's nice. It's nice, but nothing compares to the Lambo. to the room check 
checked in. Luckily, they had a room available early enough for me. Um, I'm going to give you all a little tour real quick. Bathroom. Oh, yeah, definitely getting in the tub. Hold on. Definitely gonna get in the tub. Then we got the yeah, this is fire. This is fire for sure. Got the balcony. Ripping and running all day. I kind of gave y'all the tour of the hotel and then just kind of disappeared. I had a video shoot today, shot a lot of scenes. I'm about to shower, then I'm gonna go, we about to go really go outside and uh, get something to eat. Alright, so I'm about to go to a cafe real quick because my laptop is like old. I don't even use this laptop. Like the computer that I normally edit on, my day-to-day -day computer is my desktop. So I needed to bring something with me so I could edit videos while I was here, but this laptop is just, just too old and outdated and it's not working. So I gotta go to a cafe because the laptop won't let me like airdrop my phone files. So I had to we transfer them and then the Wi-Fi at the hotel is super slow. So I have to go somewhere with faster Wi-Fi so I can get this done. And then I'm definitely sooner than later going to have to go buy another laptop now because this is not going to work. And I'm tired. I don't know if y'all can tell, but today I'm vlogging. I've been doing a lot of short form content, but now today I'm really just going to be focusing on like long form. start working out do a little workout on the beach real quick so I gotta go into Target and pick up some uh, some gloves and then we're gonna hit the beach it doesn't even let you know where these stores are at I'm kind of just oh this ceiling look kind of this look kind of cool
wanted to get full. I don't like the cutoff ones, but I wanted to find a full one. I went into Target, but Target is like, their line is super long. So I went over to Dick Sporting Goods and I might just grab these. Stop. <laughs> 